in yes. paint. Uh -huh. Your bodies will be covered in, in paint. Yes. yes, but it's, I mean, obviously you are going to be nude. Why? Why do we need the, oh, is he getting undressed? He is. Well, that being said then, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I thought I would hear their alarm clock, or at least them, or maybe someone would wake me up. I don't know how this happened. Nigel literally just exposed America's Next Top Model with this statement. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where one of the girls oversleeps the day of the photo shoot, her first photo shoot, she missed it. And then another girl refuses to do the photo shoot and Nigel asks her to leave. He's like, you can't be here anymore. Bye bye. So let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I wish I could sleep like that. My cats won't let me. We know we're going on a photo shoot and that's all we knew. We all had 30 minutes to get done. We all have to get in the showers. We all have to do our hair. We're all just going quick, 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 quick. We have to get going. And um, nobody's really paying attention to who's here and who's not. Oh, she's she's not up. She's still sleeping. Where's Janasha? Uh-oh. Find her up the stairs. Are you guys going to make sure they don't leave without me or no? Probably not, right? We're going to be fine. Oh. And I realized that Janasha is not with us. I am not able to help her out and get her in that van without jeopardizing every single other person's ability Aww. to get to the shoot. She helped me out on the runway, and that's tearing me up inside. Basically, it's survival of the fittest. Janasha didn't wake up. That's her own damn fault. And we can't babysit everybody else. True, but you could. You don't. Mm. That's a tricky one. They must have seen her sleeping, is all I'm saying. No one thought like, hey, like maybe, w maybe wake her up. I bet you everyone saw her and was like turning the other way. <laughs> no, you're telling me all these girls were in that one room and no one wanted to wake, wake her up. I feel like I would have just like, you know, I feel like I would have just done a little tap. Hey, it's a time. Rise and shine. Good morning. April definitely tried to help out. Other girls were like, you know, every man for himself. What would you guys have done in this situation? Would you have woken the model up who was oversleeping or would you have just left leave it in the comments i hope whatever dream she was having was worth it because she's about to hear it from the judging panel <laughs> for like the next three episodes if they don't eliminate her we're on our way to the first photo shoot ever and we don't know what to expect and janasha didn't make it because she didn't wake up come in come in welcome to industrial studios i'm nigel barker I'm going to be your photographer for your first fashion shoot for America's Next Top Model. Today we're doing an ad for professional colour contact lenses. The theme for today's shoot is the Garden of Eden. It's going to be really beautiful. Each one of you has had a complete outfit designed for you by Bodycast. Uh -oh. What we're going to do today is we're going to transform That's you. That's not going to be good for Janasha. Each girl has their own freaking painting, like fine art, Renaissance painting. They're like, each of you guys will get this look. It's like episode one of season two. And one of the girls happens to oversleep. Like, did they put her in a, like a soundproof room? I don't understand. What did they slip her a melatonin? What's going on? Hmm. The wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna transform you into a vision of original beauty, Eve in the Garden of Eden. And this is the major part of your costume right here. Your body's gonna be covered in jewels and body paint. Uh, Does anybody have any questions about the process or, what, or what's gonna happen today? Yeah, I do. Whole the whole thing. In yes. paint. Your bodies will be covered in, in paint. Yes. yes, but it's, I mean, obviously, you are gonna be nude. I mean, but you are gonna be covered from head to toe. I mean, it's incredibly intricate. Uh, nude is great. I'm all about it. <laughs> Bring it on. I didn't appreciate that. You know, it's, it's just not being ladylike. And, you know, I do feel that I represent the moms and the wives of the U.S. I guess like a role model. And I do <laughs> accept that responsibility. It's a lot of pressure to put on yourself. But listen, and I said this in other videos, you cannot bring a model to a photo shoot concept like this and be like, oh, we're going to do a nudity. Oh, but it's body paint. You have to get consent from the model before they have to approve the concept. They have to be comfortable with it. When you bring in models like this who... We don't know if they're comfortable with being nude and having body paint on them. You're not going to get a good photo. Models will be uncomfortable. Why do you want that environment anyways for a photo shoot? I see we only have 11. What's that about? Janash is not there. And I noticed that her costume is probably the most elaborate one of all of them. And that really hits me hard because it makes it even more apparent that she's not there. Oh, I'll have to get a wake up call into her. 
Janasha not making it to the photo shoot for the, you know, this is what we're here for. If you're not really there for the modeling and for the shoot, then you're gonna be out. It's a good, good photo shoot to miss, to sleep in. The, ca get the camera guy can wake her up. They're like, we can't reach her. Did anyone touch her? No, I don't know. I, will, I was like the second one in the house to wake up. Well, you're, you guys are her roommates. No one <laughs> Yeah. Dinasha, I love you, but I feel like she needs to take accountability for that. I don't feel like I have to justify myself. I didn't know I was going to like play mom today. <laughs> it's not even playing mom. It's just literally takes like a second. Hey, wake up. That's it. No one's asking you to feed the girl, make her breakfast, do her hair, pick out her outfit. It's just as simple as little tap on the shoulder. I get it, I get it. Every person should be responsible for waking up on their own time. But I feel like if you have a literally a room full of roommates, yeah, one person, if you see someone oversleeping, I don't know, but that's just me. That's just me. Again, what would you guys do? I wanna hear your thoughts. Or maybe they were told not to wake her up. I didn't know I was gonna like, play mom today. So, somebody should have told me. When you guys try to wake up with Janasha, what happened? She didn't wake up. She, was she like breathing? Yeah. He's like, was she breathing? <laughs> did they? So they? So did they try to wake her up? Cause then it seems like she's saying that she they did, but she just didn't wake up. I don't know what the story is. What is the truth here? Oh, she's up. Hello. Is this Janasha? I don't know how this happened. I thought I would hear their alarm clock, or at least them, or maybe someone would wake me up. I don't know how this happened. Let's get yourself together and get here ASAP. My goodness. Oh my god. Thankfully, she can make it to the photo shoot, but it has been made into quite a drama, and I think the girls are going to resent Janasha for, for having that responsibility put on them. Okay, at least she can come. Chains on a naked body. <laughs> I haven't done that before. Definitely can't use this in the portfolio. It's not going to benefit your book. That's pretty much it. Oh my God. No, it's New York traffic, but I'll pay you double if you can get there fast. Okay, ladies. They're no, starting, you know, she's in the cab. She's trying to get there on time. Nigel's like, okay, it's show time. Let's start. I know Janasha's late because uh, no one, not, that camera guy was there filming her. He didn't want to wake her up though. She looked very peaceful, but she is three hours late at this point. Every Eve must have an Adam. Let me bring in the Adams. No, no, no. The male models, the Adams. Not with really, body paint. Really good looking. No, right, with spray. No, no, no. Why? This is so awkward. This is. J oh my god. Why? Why do we need the? Oh, is he getting undressed? He is. Oh my god, he's taking his pants off. <laughs> this man just walked up on the set and just starts taking off his clothes. Like, have you been? Wait a second. Wait two minutes. Say how are you? Like, ask how my cat is doing. Shoo! You're just gonna take your pants off right away. Like, wait a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys. Adam was right there, you know, with Oh my god. You know, so. <laughs> Sarah, she was a little scared. A I mean, oh my god. Like more from that. Move your body around. He can't wear like of... nude underwear. He why do you Oh my god. You guys. Oh my god. This is not this, you you can't you can't do this in the real world. You can't bring a male model to a photo shoot, have him take his pants off in front of the girl that you're bringing. You can't do this. Please don't do this if you're a photographer. Like, did the models even consent to seeing this guy naked? He just takes his pants off. He's like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. We got great weather today. Like, <laughs> Sarah, she was a little scared. But I mean, I'd like to see more from that. Move your body around so I see that side of your body really nice. There you go. Bethany needs to work on her movement. But you know what? I mean, we have an incredible Garden of Eden and we needed someone with sort of exhibitionist qualities. She certainly had them. It's nice. Is it? April, our Asian Eve, was gorgeous. Her body is fantastic, her face is fantastic. My goodness me, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh my god. 
Nigel. You're a little late. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, come here. Come here. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I, this is not really happening. I was so naive to think that the other girls were actually going to help me out, even though I had helped some of them out. You know, like with April, I helped her. I helped her so much on that first fashion show. She should be kissing the walk the ground that I walk on right now. I'll be fine. It's okay though. It really, I'm we're gonna deal with it. I know, I know, but you need to let that go. Bottom line is, you made it. I feel bad because April's the only person who actually cared, who was concerned, who tried to help in any kind of way, and I think that just Janasha is more hurt by her but she i wish she knew the whole situation that it's a group setting and you have to when you're in a with a group of people you're more likely to do what they're gonna do because it's a group mentality so i feel like april really she was outnumbered at that point what would be more of a problem for me is the fact that you're not for that you're back to your late big problem right now is that you're upset the water works. you want to sort of say damn it you were late you know what is this we, you know but i can't we have to keep all that in you could i have to capture a shot Bitches. <sighs> but we have a long day ahead of us. And we have other things to do other than take care of one girl. Okay, so you are upset. <laughs> he's like, well, I can't say that. But then he, like, on the side, he's like, I, I can't take care of her. <laughs> she can't place the blame on anyone else. She woke up late. That's her fault, pretty much. Like, yeah, I, f I feel bad because someone could have just easily, well, again, for the, we could have, we, we already been through all that. But now, you know, she's calling everyone bitches and stuff. It's just like, it's... The industry is ruthless. No one's your friend. Twist your leg around a bit to the other way. Did this guy sitting in the back? Does he even need to be there? I got the Heavenly Eve, which was basically a painting of like the 15th chapel, the ceiling of it, on me. Katie, I thought for a moment she was going to be a painter. She was like, oh, on the camera. Chin up, eyes up high. I sat there in the room and I saw these girls. Their coochie was showing, their breasts were hanging out, and nipples showing. And, and the, the naked man. Down there, yeah. you know, where your private party is. I don't want to be oh a part of God. that. I can't just imagine someone else here and down there except my husband, you know. And if I show it to the whole world, you know, what's so special when I get it? <laughs> She's just not comfortable. And that's okay. Everyone has their own boundaries. Some people are comfortable with this concept. Some people are not. Just like I know photographers who shoot certain types of photography and some who don't like certain types of looks. I just can't. I can't do it. I'm very uncomfortable. I cannot do it. You know, I have to, you know, this is for my husband. I can't show everyone else. Right. I'm not going to do it. Good for Anna, you. You know, She's in a different place in her life. She has a son and she has a husband. Do you retouch so none of the nipples show and that stuff? Things like that, yeah. yeah. They're not going to be showing. We can't do that. And it's, this is an important thing. It would be a we, real shame. We, we, can't do, we can't do that. He's like, no, that, that we can't do. We can't show that. But everything else is fine. I mean, I don't think the nudity needed to be there. I'm glad that they're sitting and talking with her about this and seeing if they can compromise, but I don't see them compromising with her on this. They're not going to be showing. We can't do that. And we can't do that, but they had a guy take his pants off. It would be a real shame for you not to be participating in it. And, and we'll march you up to the set, hide you with a gown, do whatever we need to do. He's like, we'll march you to the set, hide you with a gown. Okay, then she has to take the gown off. So you're not addressing the issue here. She's uncomfortable. At least offer her a solution. Offer her something else. If they're going to be retouching, he just said, oh, we can retouch that and do that. Okay, so then why can't she wear like a top, uh, like a bandeau top sort of bralette? Why can't she wear that and then you just retouch it? Because it's not about the models being comfortable, not about getting good pictures, not about any of that. It's just do what we tell you to do. Otherwise, you're going to get the boot. And it's going to be the same answer, so. Okay, well, that being said, then, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. What? And he thought that if I didn't want to be a part of it, then, you know, I, I shouldn't be in his presence whatsoever. Wow. You know what? At this point, I just needed to go because we haven't got time, and it's a real shame. She wasn't comfortable being nude under her makeup. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Look how they treated her when she said that she was uncomfortable. She expressed a boundary. And she said that she wasn't going to do this. 
he literally told her you need, you need to leave they put the girls in an environment where these male models who they've never met come up to the set and take their underwear off in front of them did, did they even know that was going to happen and this is the environment that you're pro- you're producing and you're you, you're shocked that one of the girls doesn't want to be involved in that wow I don't mind a, a really hot photographer looking at my naked body. Heather picks your eye, but actually for me, her look is very Californian. Eyes up higher. Mercedes, when I would give her direction, she would remember for maybe only one or two frames, and then she would slip back into what she was doing before. Shandy needs to realize that she's a beautiful girl. For modeling, you really need to be aware of yourself. That's something that will come with time. I will say, the hair, the makeup, it's really cool. I just wish they would have put them in actual clothing. That's it. The nudity is simply a shock factor that they're adding into this to get a reaction from the girls. They know that people are not going to be okay with this. Of course they know that. So they're presenting it to see who's going to bite and who's going to be resistant. And those who are resistant will get a reaction from the photographer, the judges. They need they they need that that for the show to add drama, to add interest. Joanna, her face is fantastic, but you know her body is could do with a little bit of work. What do you mean? Huh? I was a little bit teary, like, all day. And all I could think was, those bitches. Don't leave them to them. Tin up for me, sweetie. There you go. Oh, that's okay. See, I like the flower look. Twist it up a little bit. The that's a cool look. They could have easily just had her in, like, a tight suit. Uh, something, you know? But I like the flower thing. That's cool. The top part of the bow is a little higher. Put your hand on your hip for me. Got a beautiful body, play with it. We're attitude boom. Junasha's not really getting it. Nigel keeps on telling her, no, do this, look that way, look that way. You don't want a photographer to have to direct you because no. that's why you're a model. No, no we, yeah, we so direct much, the uh, models, Habib. <laughs> we, we, that's a good thing that he's directing her. He should be directing. We direct the models. We direct the lighting. This, I mean, we help with styling. We give input on makeup and hair sometimes. We are involved in the photo shoot. That's that's how we get good photos. Like, yes, models are supposed to pose, but they pose based on our direction because we can see the photo that they can't see. Because that's why you're a model. Not, not yet, yeah, not so much. Janasha blew it. Been late this morning. She really didn't fully get into it, which is a shame. I don't know why they didn't wake me up, but if this doesn't get me eliminated, it's on. It's so on. I'm not playing anymore. I'm not going to be nice and help anyone anymore. You don't have the right clothes on? F- you. This is about me now. I mean, that's tr- it should be all about you. You gotta look out for yourself. I said no to the fact of posing nude, and Nigel, he asked me to leave the set area. I felt like it did not jeopardize my chances at all. You know, good for her. Good for you, girl, seriously. I don't think they're gonna eliminate Janasha. I think they're going to keep her to continue on this drama. We randomly draw names. And Siamara, you're first. So how did you feel when I told you that you had to do a surprise fashion show? I was shocked, completely shocked. Here it is. Your eyes weren't connecting. Your walk was great, but the eyes weren't there. You also had your first professional photo shoot, the Garden of Eden theme. And here is your best shot. They faded out his private area. Tell me why you couldn't have just had him wear the black underwear and then just faded it out if you're going to do it anyways, right? You're not going to have it show regardless in the photo. They over retouched this photo so much. Look at this. It's terrible editing, terrible retouching. Look at that. It's so fuzzy and blurry. Look at this. They created this beautiful set only just to just to blur it all, blur her entire body out. It just doesn't doesn't the editing is terrible editing is absolutely terrible what do you think i am so hot this is an amputee look there's no right arm you see so if you fanned around your upper body would have showed a little bit of right arm okay your walk is okay but you don't know what to do when you get to the end of the runway oh my god again they made the guys be completely nude only just to cover up that area with like a leaf or they faded it out then just have they the guys could have just worn underwear so that's why i'm saying it's all seems to me like just a shock factor the skin retouching in this one isn't that bad but like look how blurry over here is there's no dimension no texture 
And why do I feel like someone liquefied this area, like pushed in the stomach area? It doesn't, the proportions are very weird right here, right guys? Am I just seeing that? Like, look how blurry it is over here because of how they retouched it. And then look at her fingers. A okay, face flawless, body up to your right foot. You're cutting it off with the fan, unless you're hiding that you didn't shave your right leg or something. <laughs> I noticed that you'd walk with a little step. Yeah, I had those boots, and I've never walked in boots like that before. I can tell you're... Did the guys have to be there? They didn't. Like, the guys didn't have to be there. And remember, this is supposed to be about the contact lenses. Does anyone see any contact lenses? Let me zoom in here. Where I, I don't see any contact lenses. That was the whole point of this. But who forgot about that? I did. This, if this was advertising grocery food, okay, great, apples. I can tell you're slightly uncomfortable. It really? Like okay. Your leg is wobbling and like you're about to fall over at any minute. I don't think that's why she was uncomfortable. Too bouncy. The bounce was good, but just a little less. Oh my God. He could have been wearing pants. Tell me why they couldn't put a leaf right here. Tell me why. I don't know why I just zoomed in. <laughs> I'm like, I just want an answer here because I feel like we have a giant forest and you can just grab one leaf. I don't know who she's supposed to be, like the villain from the Power Rangers or something, but it's not looking like Adam and Eve situation. Is your finger in his mouth? Oh, yeah, it was everywhere. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I was the only Eve that touched her Adam. The leg thing's a little unusual. Huh? A little March. I didn't think I did too good. You have a... It's giving, like... Power Ranger heroic protagonist. Power Rangers side character that helps the Power Rangers in the middle of the movie. Like comes out of nowhere and is like, Hey, I have a text message from Zordon. And I'm going to give you guys this key that unlocks a door with a chest filled with treasure and then new outfits. And then they have like totally new outfits. And then she's going to be like, I'm from a faraway planet. And um, Zordon's my friend. And good luck to you. Good luck, Rangers. And sh that's when I feel like that movie would... That's when she would be in the movie. It's giving also Keebler Elf, too. But I don't... I love the Keebler Elf cookies. I don't want to disrespect them like that. So that's why I didn't say it. But that's also... It's kind of like in the Elf family, but also could cross into Power Rangers. Also Lord of the Rings, too. I'm a little late to the Lord of the Rings, but I'm finally watching the third movie. And, uh, you know, I'm here. I'm, I'm finally watching it after all the comments that I didn't know who Gollum was. <laughs> now I know. Smeagol? Smeagol anyone? Yeah, that's right. I know all about Lord of the Rings now. You have a classic face made for beauty. You look very somber. Next time, you might want to lighten it up. Wow. Wow. Her by her side. I tried to pause that. Okay, chill. She looks stunning in this. This is the best photo I've seen. Let me just make it better. Sorry, Matthew. I don't know what his name is. Um, we cropped him out. And now it's, this is it. This is, I love this. Wow. Whoa. The only thing that I would say is to kind of stick your booty out just a little bit more and give me a little pow. I like her pose, though. Oh. Hi, Anna. Hello. How do you feel about being, um, the only plus size model here. I'm sure of myself and you know, that's who I am, so that's fine. What? Looks like you were. What? Why did I feel like that was a little bit of shade? Looked like you were more of a beauty queen than a model. Right, Absolutely. looked like you were like, hi. Miss right. Georgia hi. Peach. I actually thought the little head bob at the end seemed contrived. We don't have a picture for you and why is that? I just felt like I could not do it. It was not ladylike to me. Not ladylike, what does that mean? <laughs> That's hmm, I get it. It's your religion. It's not so much religion. I'm just, you know, trying to be Christ-like. Nigel's like, not ladylike? What does that mean? Hmm, I wonder. Wonder what that means, not ladylike. Not ladylike, what does that mean? How about, wh what does it mean when you kicked her out of the photo shoot? And I'm just going to say this. If you're comfortable with that, as a photographer, as a model, go for it. If you're not comfortable, that's okay too. I give that a 10. I think you've got the confidence, you've got the attitude. Now refine it. Tone it down a bit. You have a It's a little creepy, you know. Let me just crop him out for a little. Let me just crop him out. Let me just crop this man out right here. There we go. Remember, it's about the contacts. 
as I zoom out, I'm like, okay, this is, yes, about the, the colored contacts for your eyeballs. Okay, thank you. Great advertising. A great pose, a great stance, and your face is knockout pill. Well done. Well done. There's a lot going on, you know, over the shoulder and stuff. I noticed that too. Yeah. Okay, I love this floral look, like the headpiece. I love flowers and pictures. I wish they would have just continued it, put like real flowers all over her. Would have been gorgeous. I'm just going to crop that guys out of all the pictures like this. Like, that looks great. It looks amazing. Okay. I, I, <laughs> I'm speechless. I absolutely love it. I think your body is gorgeous. You have great muscle tone. And you're actually borderline plus size. So you may want to gain a little weight or lose some. Um, I think mean, plus size is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, okay. Look up, look what is, what is with them and throwing around plus size forever? Like, why do we need to say that? What's, why do we need to comment on people's weight? I don't understand. That's a, that's, I don't know if, the, I don't know how she, the intention is coming across. Tyra, Tyra, what are you, her physician? I don't understand. She's like, um, the last time I saw you for your, uh, regular f checkup here. It's too up. much. <laughs> look up. Next time you have to look straight out and hold your head up. But you practice with a phone book like Audrey Hepburn. Oh my gosh. Her face is like blurred to the, jeez. Does that even look like her? Who, who, what is that? Who is that? <laughs> you guys. What are you oh thinking? Oh my goodness. Shani, did you ever think you could look that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Look at my Does butt. Does it even look like her, Tyro? <laughs> In this picture, you are stunning. However, your dress, it really doesn't say much. Okay. College student, it says. Okay, she's okay. wearing Instead your, like, you guys are wearing the same shirt, wannabe. Nigel. I think the walk needs a lot of work. It was too staccato for me. Interesting. What is this? Oh my God. She looks like one of those people from, uh, you know, not who, not the Whoville people, but the Lorax, Lorax. She looks like one of those people from the, from the Lorax, right? Jeez. Why would they do this to her? But she looks like she could be a character in the, in those, that movie. Why would they make her look like a cartoon villain? I don't know. The Lorax, the, yeah, the the Lorax from Dr. Seuss. That's who she looks like, but blue. <laughs> Share, Laura. eat your heart out. I have a lot to work with there. I'm not so sure about the boobs. Your body type is what? very sexy. You have to be very conscious of how you pose because it'll take you away from fashion and into more of that kind of girly mag type of thing. Hi. Hi, Janasha. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm good. Work it. You vogued. I thought that she kind of moved a little bit too much. Just kind of hit it once instead of uh, 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 uh. Like, she had the best look. This is so cool. I actually really like this one. On the actual shoot, you really didn't offer anything soft. You were meant to be Eve. It'd be nice to see just a little bit more gentleness in you. You know what I'm going to talk about there, don't you? You, young lady, were late for my shoot. What? didn't show up until I think was it two hours it might have been three you're wasting other people's money yeah nearly. five seven is a little short to be a model so we have to compensate like punctuality time is money thank you I knew that they were gonna bring it up in some way so I'm not surprised about that they are right I do agree she shouldn't have been late you always want to show up on time for whatever you're doing photo shoot job birthday party you know, you do want to show up on time. Let's discuss Anna. I love a plus size girl. She's a beautiful plus size figure. Her runway definitely like everything plus size, plus work. size. Her refusal to do the session didn't work for me. Just because she did not do the shoot doesn't mean that she's automatically eliminated. When she okay. was in front of me. That attitude. That was the problem for me. The attitude about it. She didn't even know what her argument was about why she didn't do it. She sort of like had half an idea. How did she have an attitude about it? She said she was uncomfortable. She doesn't want to do it. You asked her why. She said it's just not ladylike. You assumed it was her religion. She said it's just not ladylike. Okay, whatever. That's her opinion. And then you want to say that she has an attitude. And that, what did she say? Dude, that was the problem for me. The attitude about it. She didn't even know what her She didn't even know what her argument about was. Why. And about why she didn't want to do it. Yes, yeah, she did. She was uncomfortable. 
do we need to have an argument every time we don't want to do something if we're uncomfortable? Do I need to come out with like a thesis statement? Like, okay, um, the reason why I don't want to do this is be- no, that's not how this works, Happy. But like, she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it. Stay mad. Stay mad. She sort of like had half an idea. However, normally, you know, you would warn a girl in advance. So she wasn't warned. In fact, the girl that was late was more damaging to oh. me. All right. There it is. There it is. Norm- Nigel said it himself. Normally, the girls are warned about these types of concepts. They consent to them. They go into a photo shoot knowing, okay, today I'm going to be spray painted and I'm going to be modeling with with a guy. They know about it before they enter the photo shoot. And now we have literally Nigel saying, yeah, they they weren't warned. They had no idea. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys from the beginning is that in the real world, you can't do this stuff. Nigel literally just exposed America's Next Top Model with this statement. He Even he is saying that. He knows that this is not something that you'd normally do. It's not protocol. Probably don't want people looking at that in your book, but it probably would look amazing on uh, your website if you used today's sponsor, Squarespace. Because anything looks good on Squarespace, really. Probably put one of the, you probably could uh, put one of these pictures up. People people will probably just see the website and be like, "Wow, that's beautiful." They're not gonna they're not gonna even think about this. There's a pantsless man in this photo. They're just gonna be like, "Wow, that's a beautiful website." I wonder what template this is. I wonder how she made this. That's right. Using Squarespace. What is Squarespace? Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that's easy to use. You can build your business and brand online. And the reason why I love it is it has so many amazing features. They have tons of features such as beautiful galleries for you to display your images however you want. You can even easily control how large and small your images appear, how much space in between each, each image. And that's one of the reasons why I love Squarespace is it's very customizable. So whether you want to do image galleries, you want to create a blog post, you want to embed videos, or create a new project page, you can do that easily with a click of a button. With just a click of a button, there are you can select any type of feature that you want. And the thing I love most is that they have drag and drop features. So if you do want to ever update your pages, or if you're a photographer and you have a portfolio, you just click a button, you upload your photo. So you can start a free trial if you go to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica and you can use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information is in the description, so check it out. My guess is the girl who overslept and then the one who didn't want to do the photo shoot will be in the bottom two and then one of them will go home. I knew they were going to put him in the bottom two. Will Janasha and Anna please step forward? The judges were quite disappointed that you didn't do the photo shoot. But you felt a certain responsibility as a wife and a mom, and we respect that. Do you? Do you know what I'm going to tell you? I was late. You have to depend on yourself, because those girls could have easily just shook you awake and said, come on. But everybody's looking out for themselves. This isn't a sorority. This is a modeling competition. That's true. She's right. Whose ever name I do not call must immediately return to the loft She's Pack going home, the, um, the one who didn't do the photo shoot. She's going home. Janasha, congratulations. I thought, that, right I thought that Tyra said that just because she didn't do the photo shoot doesn't mean she's automatically eliminated. And then she proceeds to eliminate her. <sighs> I do not regret any decisions that I made here at all. Good for you. I got knocked out, knocked down. It hurt for a few moments, but I'm stronger now, and you know I can get back up and still keep going. I'm proud of you. I'm proud I'm of you for setting for a boundary and sticking to it. I can see my son and my husband. Love that. You don't want to do what they want you to do. This is what happens. You get eliminated. You're uncomfortable. God forbid. Bye-bye. Have a nice... Go be uncomfortable at home in the comfort of your home. Bye-bye. So what do you guys think? Should they have woken up the girl who overslept? Should the model have done the photo shoot even though she was uncomfortable? And do you agree with who they eliminated? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video.